Hello everybody. Welcome to today's session. In today's session we're going to go over the NFP that's coming out tomorrow. How I anticipate it to affect the market, my reasons for anticipating that. So if that sounds interesting, please do stick with us until the end. You know, don't forget to like this video. Share with a few friends that you believe will also find value in this video. Now, the NFP is a non-farm payroll for those that aren't aware of it. It's an US fundamental. It mostly impacts the US dollar. But obviously, we understand that if the US dollar is affected, then the yen is affected, euro, pound, all the other pairs are affected because the US dollar actually controls about 80% of the transactions made in the forex market, right? Now, with that in consideration, the, the non-farm payroll, which is a very strong and volatile fundamental, once it hits the US, almost all the pairs are going to be affected. So with that in mind, we obviously have to pay close attention to what's really going to happen on the NFP. Now, the, the non-farm payroll, as I just said, it's a US-based fundamental that actually shows, like this one is a May, May event, it's for May. So the non-farm payroll measures the change in the numbers of people employed during the previous month, excluding the farming industry, hence the word non-farm payroll, right? So it excludes the people that are in the farming industry, but everything else apart from there, it's, all, it's included in the non-farm payroll. So a higher than expected reading should be taken as positive, whereas a lower than expected should be taken as negative because a higher than should be taken as positive because if it's actually higher then it means the payrolls have increased that means that it's more job creations and all those type of things which is good for the economy so the economy or the currency pair will be stronger so that's why a higher than reading is actually taken as positive now i always look at a lot of things to analyze the nfp but for this week i'm just going to be looking at two uh, excuse me, I'm just going to be looking at three critical fundamentals that came out this week that are going to have a major impact on the non-farm payroll that's going to come out tomorrow. The first one is non-farm productivity. Non-farm productivity is a fundamental that shows the production in, in the, this one is a quarter, it's for the quarter, right? For the whole of the first quarter of the year. So it actually shows the productivity of the non-farm industry. How has the production gone? So this came out today, and we can see its production came at negative 2.1. Previously anticipated at negative 2.7 with its previous reading at 1.7, which came out, which is good for the US dollar, right? So it made the US dollar stronger. The second one is initial jobless claims. This one right here, initial jobless claims right now we can see last time we or the last reading was 230 we were anticipating to see about 235k but then it came out at 232k which was good for the economy because less people have actually claimed to be jobless so that means more people are actually employed now in the last one is the adp non-farm employment change for may last one was 27 291 170 was anticipated but it came out at 278 which is better than anticipated which is good for the us because if there are more employment change that means more people are actually employed in the non-farm sector now let me ask you something if more people are employed in the non-farm sectors less people are claiming to be in um jobless right Okay, so as I was saying, excuse me, if more people are employed in the non-farm sector, less people are actually claiming to be jobless. That means employment has actually skyrocketed, skyrocketed in the US dollar, in the non-farm sector, and in the general economy, because that's why you can see jobless claims are actually better than anticipated. Plus, the non-farm productivity is good. It's actually better than anticipated for the first quarter. So what do you think is going to happen on the US dollar tomorrow? Frankly, I believe the non-farm payroll will actually come out better than anticipated. 
because more people are having jobs. Production in the non-farm sector is good and the non-farm employment change is actually even better than anticipated. So if more people are actually employed, it just makes sense that the payroll will also increase because who are you going to pay? Because it's the people that are actually employed in the non-farm sector, right? So this is a great indication that tomorrow the non-farm payroll will actually come out positive than or better than anticipated, which will actually make the US dollar stronger. So that's my analysis for the non-farm payroll tomorrow. If you found value in this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because you don't want to miss out on content that we produce like this on a daily basis. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you all. Have a great weekend.